The investigation continues into Friday's mass shooting that left eight students and two teachers dead at a Texas high school. We come here today with hearts that are aching, knowing that there are parents today without children. Tuesday, Bear County voters head to the polls to decide 11 primary runoff races up and down the ballot. And new data shows San Antonio lags behind other major Texas metro areas in closing its educational achievement gap. I'm Chance Dorland with your express briefing for Monday, May 21st. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. Songs of peace and healing filled Arcadia First Baptist Church Sunday as grieving congregants came together for prayers and strength. With a 17-year-old student behind bars on capital murder charges, shaken residents attended church services, vigils, a pre-graduation baccalaureate service, and final prayers for a foreign exchange student killed in Friday's early morning shooting at Santa Fe High School. Federal agents continue to investigate the shooting, and the U.S. Justice Department is considering filing additional charges against the student responsible for the killing of eight students and two substitute teachers. The event is just the latest mass school shooting in the U.S. in a year that has seen students taking charge of the gun rights debate to demand better protection in schools. The AP's Ben Thomas has more. Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick says the key problem is a culture of violence in America, not the prevalence of guns. They are a part of who we are as a nation. It is our Second Amendment. You know, it talks about a well-run militia, the Second Amendment. Our teachers are part of that well-run militia, by the way. It's guns that also stop crimes. He appeared on ABC's This Week, as did Fred Gutenberg, whose daughter was killed in the Parkland, Florida school shooting. I think those are the most idiotic comments I've ever heard regarding gun safety. Gutenberg says it is a multifaceted problem, but... The problem is when these shootings happen, the crowd that doesn't want to blame guns, they want to talk about everything else but guns. Sunday, churchgoers hugged and greeted one another at Arcadia First Baptist Church in Santa Fe, where Governor Greg Abbott joined the congregation, noting that it's time to put together a meaningful plan to avert future school shootings. Beginning this next week, it's time to go to work. Go to work to make sure that this will be a catalyst to ensure that we will build a pathway to reforms so that other students will not have to live through a nightmare like these students had to go. Tuesday, Bear County voters head to the polls to decide 11 primary runoff races up and down the ballot, including three congressional contests and the Democratic race for governor. Polling sites open Tuesday at 7 a.m. and close 12 hours later at 7 p.m. Election day comes after five days of early voting that yielded 22,750 in-person votes in Bear County, roughly 12,000 from Democrats and 11,000 from Republicans, with an additional 14,000 mail-in ballots. But while the total of nearly 37,000 votes is more than the roughly 34,000 early ballots cast in the 2014 primary runoffs, as about 150,000 more people are registered for this year's election. Bear County Elections Administrator Jackie Callanan says she's disappointed so many of the more than 1 million registered voters have been sitting out the runoffs. University of Houston political science professor Brandon Rottenhouse says the drop-off likely comes from the lack of statewide runoffs and less spending on races than is normally the case. And researchers for the nonprofit Children at Risk report San Antonio still lags behind Texas's other major metropolitan areas in closing its educational achievement gap. In fact, the region's education gap may be widening. Children at Risk weighs schools' demographic characteristics against their statewide standardized test scores, as well as other indicators including graduation rates and advanced placement in international baccalaureate outcomes. 
This year, the organization changed its methodology to eliminate a curve and give equal weight to test results, growth, and performance in comparisons among demographically similar schools. And while the change pushed more San Antonio schools toward a B letter grade, results for San Antonio area school districts did not significantly change compared to last year. As always, the performance of San Antonio Independent School District drove the area's overall results, as SAISD continues to struggle with low performance and declining enrollment. And that's your daily San Antonio Express News Briefing for Monday, May 21st. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. I'm Chance Dorland.